Hello. <laughs> back hello welcome back to life's laugh track with life's hannah laugh track. and jace jason, jason tanner. tanner sorry yeah we like um the alphabet just so that yeah. everyone knows it wasn't my idea <laughs> i tried so hard to do tanner and jace you did but i i like i like letters to go in order that's fair i i understand afterwards yeah i can't decide which one rolls off better i think they're both equally jason tanner tanner and jace yeah they J- I th- I think in general Jace is kind of easy sometimes to go first because it you it like goes right into n. like you don't need the whole <laughs> a- and you know what I mean it goes right into the t- n. <laughs> yeah you can skip a lot of consonants <laughs> if you put it, my does first. anybody understand what that is yeah like and yeah Jason Tana instead of Tana and Jace oh yeah you know what I'm now Cause, I get because Jason is like kind of a name yeah 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 oh so the n you just skip some consonants. <laughs> Do it again. The mm? Yeah. What? Do it again. Do, mm? <laughs> oh my gosh. This is the face. What does that do for you? It's the facial expression. It oh, gives me eyes. Got it. Okay. That was funny. That's what it does for me. Alright, I just want to quickly. I thought you were just into the mm, 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 mm. <laughs> <laughs> Beatboxing okay. with Jace and Tana. <laughs> The true side. Okay, just really quickly, we need to yeah. address the hot mess that's on the table right now. Yeah, usually there's just an iPad there. Yeah, as yep. you can tell. <laughs> a bunch of used napkins. We, they're not used. <laughs> um, last week, Jace was talking about his, his nose <clears throat> and his allergies. And um, this week, I've been struggling with them pretty significantly. You can actually hear it in my voice. She's a little congested. So these are not used. I just didn't know if we wanted to have a full box. And now that I'm looking at it, I think the box would probably look a little bit better. <laughs> they were just folded up in my bag. We'll but they cut, are not used. We'll cut a lot. We won't use the light as much this time. <laughs> no. Our faces. No, use it. This is funny. <laughs> <laughs> this is comedy. Comedy. <laughs> um, and then, if you remember last week, I talked yeah. about my, my favorite TikToker. The Great Depression cookies. <laughs> yes. <laughs> These are actually, uh, it's a recipe from the 70s, so not Great oh. Depression. But um, I can never remember his name. I just refer to him as my favorite TikToker. He makes, he, he's he's a baker, and he, one of his, I think it was a quarantine activity, he started just getting recipes from really bad, sad times in the world's history, and he started making them and taste testing them. And there were lots of hits and lots of misses. Yeah. And as anyways, so I... I made one i can't remember what he calls them they're like strawberry? strawberry fluff strawberry fluff i think is what it's called okay um but yeah they're just made with cool whip cool, cool whip. whip yes cool whip cool whip. <laughs> yeah so i made them and i brought them so you could try this says don't eat please because, because roommates because or, roommates or because of your dogs you're like <laughs> it's, uh, no, it's, it's a message for the dogs so it, well, listen <laughs> they know not to go in the kitchen actually when i tell them to get out of the kitchen they hightail it on out they're good boys. Nice. Apollo has been um, a bit naughty and mm. got up on the counter and I'm like... Mm-mm. You just said that. Not a mouth, y'all. I'm a little bit more aggressive about it. I'm like, excuse you! Have you seen... <laughs> <laughs> excuse you! <laughs> so at good. some point during the eve, or this episode, you must have one of these fluffy cookies. Okay. He I'm even a- says on the video, he's... I mean, I sent it to you. I don't know if you watched it, but... Um, he even says on it, he's like, these don't look very fluffy. And then he takes a bite and he's like, but they taste fluffy. Ooh. And I'm like, mm. I'm very excited for that. You'll also recognize, as apart from the, the mess on the like, table, uh, we're a lot more straight today. We are. Yes, we're working on our posture. No, because, that's not true. Well, my back just broke after last <laughs> episode. Because <laughs> we, I don't know, I can't remember why I did it, but I, we were like all the way down on these chairs. And just watching the footage, I'm like, we are so uncomfortable. <laughs> Yeah, because I, I think I'm sitting like this. <laughs> yeah. And my my knees were like the whole time. And then afterwards, my back has hurt like all oh, week. Like, Jason, dead, I'm so broken. sorry. That's awful. God. It's okay. I'm doing a lot of stretching. So I didn't go to the gym at all, which also, thank you for that. Not going to the gym? <laughs> yes. You're welcome. Um, <laughs> I'm my, honored my to keep back you from your health. My goals. Back, 
my back hurt too much. I just like couldn't go. Mm-hmm. But it was like that's awful. But we're stretching. We're stretching a lot. She's limber. Stretching. She's doing limber. A lot of things. Um, so, so there's going to be a lot of this going on. (laughs) Perfect posture. Um, but, okay. Okay. Out of, business aside. Yes. (laughs) Uh, let's do a little. Can you tell we laugh a lot? (laughs) Literally. (laughs) Never. I would say half the time. I would dare say maybe three-fourths of the time that we're together, we are cackling like we're just... (laughs) Cackling is the operative word. So so much cackling. I feel like I do this thing too, and I need to do work better on this, where I like trail off a little bit and start laughing. And so I never finish the last word that I say because I've been watching stuff back, and I like. I think I talked about like mean comments last time, and I was like mean comments. So and it's funny. The, like not... it's also funny, like super funny because it's natural. It's not like it's not a rehearsed thing. Sure. It's not a stage thing at all. You're just the good and the you. bad. Not rehearsed. It's amazing. <laughs> Anyways, business aside, um, so we've been following up about a development uh, in your but... your relationship life. Yeah. Um. So it's been it's been a roller coaster of a week. Okay. Because last Monday. <clears throat> I, he asked me to dinner, so we went, and I was really, really excited, but he asked me a question about how I usually have conversations with people, and he was like, so, like, if if you want to meet up, we can get food, and you can ask me all the list of questions if you have a list, and I was like, I don't, I don't make lists unless I'm at work, like, I, I like to go with the flow Yeah. in conversations, I feel like that's the most natural. It's it's what people do, I feel like, Yeah, it's like a normal (laughs) thing. Um... So we met, and I don't know how to describe it. It just felt like there were two things. One, it felt very much like he was trying. <coughs> sorry, these are analogies. I'm so sorry. I felt like he was trying to get more information out of me about one of my jobs. And the other part was that about he About the job at the park or the job at the... Actually, both. But, and then it also felt like he was wanting to close off our friendship. And, and so it, it felt very, he even told me, he, he, he asked me a question about the park, mm-hmm. um, and I answered it and then I was like, S- what did you want to meet for? And he was like, well, you already answered my question. And I was like, what, what question? And he wouldn't tell me. I, if people are not telling me truthfully or, or saying what they're thinking, I feel like they're hiding something, um, which is something I work on in therapy, but it's also pretty common for most people yeah you can tell when somebody's hiding something yeah and it's just uncomfortable Mm -hmm. um and so it it felt very i don't know i was just very uncomfortable and so i sent him this really really long message and i was like i don't know why you're pushing me away because because it feels like sorry my nose it feels like being rejected we'll block this out too (laughs) Or she, she or keep it in. <laughs> drippy baby. <laughs> we'll keep it in. She's got Dri- a dab in drippy, nose. B- drippy baby. Is that what you just said? <laughs> I'm a drippy baby. <laughs> <laughs> People have to pay for that. People I have to pay like for that. that. <laughs> <laughs> Only fans? <laughs> <laughs> just crying. Um, but I went home and I cried a little bit and then I typed up the super long text. It took three text messages to send. It was very long and just just explaining how I was feeling and what it felt like that he was he was testing me to see if the person he was getting via text was the same as in person, which blows my mind because I'm the same everywhere. Any way you get me, I'm I I actually pride myself on that. Like yeah. you get who you think you're getting. <clears throat> I think that which that's is very true. Usually a decent person not always the best but um a a very good person just so you know well thank you i appreciate it um and he responded and it was essentially um the way it came across and i i later told him it came across that he didn't want to be my friend anymore which i felt like i was mourning a loss yeah at this point because i i I am a Leo, so if you believe in astrology or star signs, whatever, Leos are very loyal, and they also, when they love, they love 
so hard and so deeply, whether it's romantic or not. And this one is not romantic and that he needed to figure things out by himself on his own, which also I get that. Like when you need to figure stuff out, sure. usually it's best to do by yourself. Yeah. But it is so unhealthy to shut people out. It is so unhealthy. It is never good when you shut people out. It yeah. is never, ever good. It's so detrimental in so many different ways. Mm-hmm. And it's very dangerous for the individual who is shutting people out. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so that I had a 4th of July celebration, which was really, really fun, um, with my friends in Riverton. And they had a massive fireworks show, so that was fun. Fun. Um, burps. <laughs> Just do it. Well, I did, but it, it, was, it wasn't a good one. It wasn't one where I'd be like, the one that you had last week, which was super good. It was, it was really crisp. Loud. Yeah. <laughs> it was a it's, crispy one. It's very acid <laughs> Yeah, you needed to eat. You hadn't eaten. I was kind of sad during this 4th of July. Yeah. Um, just because Morning I was... Lots. Yeah. And then Wednesday, I met with my therapist, and um, she was very, very helpful in pointing things out for me. <clears throat> And she talked, this is, this is a heavy subject, so in, in no way is this to be offensive in any way. It's just, it's a um, comparison situation. She said, because she has had a miscarriage, she said that people don't mourn the miscarriage, they mourn what could have been. Mm. And she was like, and it's no different for you at this moment in time, because you are mourning what could have been, and also sorrowful because you feel like you've been rejected in some way. Like in general, even, even like losing an older relative yeah whether that be a parent or something else that's just older than you like you expect it to happen but it's like it, it there, there's still that like loss of possibility of more memories yeah also forgive me trigger warning <clears throat> yeah, this is a <clears throat> highly emotional subject but to go along with that, something I served an LDS mission. Um, I am a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter Day Saints, but Mormons, <laughs> the Mormons. Um, but I'm uh, not a typical member of the church, I guess is what you could say. Meaning you don't have a lot of wives. That I'm yeah. Although I <laughs> I would kidding, gladly have multiple wives. <laughs> just kidding. It's not a thing anymore. Um, I know. But something that I learned learned on my mission, and I believe this, and I'm not saying everyone needs to believe this. This sure. is just my personal belief. Um, we be- we believe in general that we can live forever for eternity, um, and that our souls are eternal beings, and because we live or we believe that, we have such a hard time with endings. Because we ourselves, our souls don't end. Mm-hmm. And so it's it's part of the loss and, and mourning a loss or what could have been is because it's foreign to us. Mm-hmm. Something ending is foreign to us. Um, at least that's how, when my grandpa passed away on my mission, that's how I like was able to, to keep moving. But I think that's a very <clears throat> beautiful and insightful thing too. That yeah. you've discovered. That's only that's my thoughts. That is not projecting I, on anybody else. But I think I think in general, like human, I feel like humanity in general has like a desire, whether or not we believe it to be mm-hmm. true. We have a desire for like being able to persist beyond this life in one way yeah. or another. Whether that's through energy, whether that's through the plants, whether that's through reincarnation, or yeah. just persisting. In consciousness in some way like I think that's that's something that we all want and so like loss is so deep yeah or even if you I mean if you don't believe in that loss is you you have to find meaning in loss every single time or else it will just eat you up yep yeah so to go along with that this is therapy this time this is a therapy this is an interesting listen this is real life there's beauty in all things like you have to have the opposites, right? Um, and it's interesting to think about the first day I met him to now. I was really, really hopeful about what it could be, whatever. And now that I'm getting a taste of what it is, I'm still so grateful because I I do have such a profound appreciation and love for this individual. Mm-hmm. Um, much like how I feel about you. Oh my gosh, I get so emotional when I think about how much I love you. Um but it's similar for him, right? Um, 
But I also found myself, after I cried a lot, I started to get angry, mm. which is a stage of, of grieving and <clears throat> dealing with disappointment and, and loss in general. Um, do you I, do you want to keep going on with the story? Is it yeah, okay? Yeah, because there's an ending. Okay. Yeah, everyone wants to know. This is episode three. Everybody's <laughs> but, like, but popcorn. I don't, I don't want you to feel obligated to share something that is deeply well, personal and not that you don't want to. Well, I'm not sharing anything about him. Um, I know, but for yourself, this, sure. is, this is you. Yeah, but I'm also an open book. Okay. I don't have a problem with it. Okay. <clears throat> but, I just um, want to make sure. Thank you. I love you so much. Thanks for caring about me. I love you so much. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> <ASMR. laughs> Yeah, that was me giving Jason a smooch. Oh my gosh. Wait, hold on. That's how I kiss. <laughs> Is that how you kiss? <laughs> Gargle and spit in their mouth. That's like the scene in Shrek when he's... <laughs> He's brushing his teeth and then he spits it out and in the thing it's just Shrek. His name is Shrek. It's just like that. <laughs> well, he does. He does the cargo and spits. Anyway, anyway, back to this story. I'm almost done. I promise. So I, I was finding myself to be quite angry, and then he, <laughs> I got called back for a show. What show? Can I ask? Yeah, it's at. The, um, <clears throat> Desert Star Theater, the parody theater. Okay. I love comedy, you guys. It's like one of my favorite things there, to do. There's a wonderful dinner theater. Yeah. It's 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 very... Okay, to be super transparent, hit and miss. Yeah, it is. Because they write every show themselves, and it's that's so hard. It is very hard. They do parodies. So the first show I was in at this theater is called Legally Brunette. Mm-hmm. I played... Jennifer I, Coolidge. Jennifer Coolidge's character, but her name was Babette, not yeah. Paulette. Yeah. <clears throat> um, okay. Anyway, so I, had, I got called back. I sent a text message to someone thinking it was... They had the same name as this person I've been talking about. But it was actually this person I've been talking about and not the other person I was trying to reach. <laughs> like a fucking idiot. Okay. Absolute fool. And it was it was his name and I was like... Anyway, so I sent a text and, and then I realized as soon as I was like, that's not his last name. <laughs> and so yeah. I sent a text back and I was like, I'm so sorry. This is the wrong person. I, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, like I didn't mean, and I sent an, a, a gif of Jennifer Lawrence, who is my birthday twin. She and I <gasps> were born on the same day, same um, year, like minutes apart. <clears throat> she's, I love her. Anyways, she, it's, it's the gif, you know, where she's like interviewing yeah. and anyways, yeah. and he didn't respond and I was like, oh, okay, he's for sure following through with this, not being friends with me anymore. And I was like, okay, whatever. I don't need to be apologetic. There's no reason sure. to apologize. Sober. Um, and then he sent me a text message back. I started to sweat. My face got really hot. I started, my ears started to burn. I was just like, oh my, almost like nerve, like incredibly nervous <clears throat> that he had messaged me. And um, it was essentially letting me know that I made it in his journal and that he was going through a really rough time. And my text to him, though it was a mistake, was needed and it made it made him laugh or whatever and i think okay. i think that was the turning point for him because <laughs> he's got severe depression sure severe and and we all know people that struggle so deeply with depression they go in these cycles where it's yeah, like absolutely. self-detriment and then they attack the people around them and then and then it's big mood swings yeah um and he's never attacked me and then yesterday at the park I was doing my job and I wasn't thinking about him at all and I hadn't seen him and I was like, oh, okay, he's not here. And then I saw him mm. and he looked so good. <laughs> he looked so handsome. He was wearing, we all know, we all know that men should dress like pirates more often. Those flowy he shirts. He was wearing a pirate? He was, he was wearing he, a He was wearing a pirate? <laughs> He had skinned a pirate and put yeah, it on his body. It was like it was like that scene and what is that movie? Yeah, okay, he did great. it. But no, he was wearing an, a black flowy pirate top and he okay. This man is truly stunning. Okay. Um and so I was trying really hard to stay away from him because this guy doesn't want to be my friend at this moment in time. I'm just trying to respect that and also I don't want to be sucked back in because I I can't, and, and part, part on me, like I, I recognize my fault in the fact that I did allow myself to catch more feels than I was expecting. Um, 
I didn't cross a boundary. Sure. Just want everybody to know that of, of being like, I want to date you. I would never. Um, but I did allow myself to, to develop more feelings than I should have <clears throat> for a typical friendship. And, um, then he started texting me and he asked me at to, the park. Yeah. Like, well, he, he and you were at the park. Yes. Okay. Um, because we had a major event last night or both this weekend, rather it was both Friday and Saturday. And, um, I was running it, doing all the, the, the tech and making sure my actors were on time. As, as per usual. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> he texted me and I was like, so uncomfortable with it. And I was just like, what the fuck? But I was right next to where he and I met and he was sitting there, but I was like, I'm not going to acknowledge him or whatever. So anytime I had to walk by, I actually was on the phone and he would, he would try and call out to me. And I was just like, I am fucking working and I don't, I don't want to do this right now. Which I can also understand. There's probably some significant miscommunication or misunderstanding. He probably didn't mean I don't want to be your friend, blah, blah, blah. Um, but it very much came off that way. Mm-hmm. And then he asked me, asked if I, if he could see me today. Um, today, like literally before I came here, I was with him. Um, and I was very apprehensive because of the emotional roller coaster I've been on just this yeah. last week alone. And... Um, so we met, we went on a hike, brought me, he met my dog and, um, we sat in this one spot for four and a half hours and we talked and I asked him point blank. I was like, what did you want to talk about? I, he's got a lot going on in his, in his life. And that's another reason why I totally understand why he doesn't want to have a relationship, but he doesn't believe that he can have friends. Like, he truly doesn't believe that. So, like, the text message He truly does believe that. Not doesn't. He truly does believe he doesn't... He can't have friends. So the text message earlier was likely more of an internal reflection rather than something pointed at you. Essentially. Okay. But it it, it was pointed at me in the sense of, like, you are somebody... He even told me that today. He... Ver- verbatim he said you're somebody that knows more about me than anybody in my life right now and i don't know why i feel comfortable in telling you that i also don't know why i feel comfortable telling you the things that i'm going through but something makes me feel like i can um whether that's i'm a safe space whatever which i'm i'm incredibly grateful for because again my love language is time and conversation and so the more you tell me the more I care about you and also the more you know that it's a safe space, right? You're very, and you are a very safe space. Well, you are my safe space, which is why I call you about everything in my jobs <laughs> and my life. But, but like to what I, I feel like if I can equate it for myself is I to him is what you are to me. I don't, I understand that vibe of like a lifeline kind of a thing, but I don't think, first of all, I think that you're a very strong, independent woman. Who don't need no man. <laughs> uh, but second of all, um, I feel like our relationship is very mutually beneficial. Yeah. Whereas I don't, I don't know about this one. Yeah. And I don't know. Like I legitimately don't know. I don't, I don't know, know either. Mm-hmm. I I definitely walked away feeling a lot better. Yeah. I I asked him point blank. I was like, "Are you gonna go away? Like, are you gonna stop being a part of my life? Because I need to prepare for that." And he was like, "It." A lot of the times it feels like people only reach out to me or want me a part of their life because they need something. And he's I, a business guy. He's a business guy, but also he's, he is very charitable. Mm-hmm. Like, I didn't know him but a week, and he met with me to talk to me about work stuff and give me advice on that, which is so kind. Yeah. Um, but I, I stopped him while we were walking. I looked at him, and I was like, I'm not going to ask you for anything but your time. Yeah. I won't. I, the only thing I hope is that you will allow me to take your time. Because that's, in my opinion, the best way to build any type of friendship. And I I have removed any type of romantic anything off the table. But I do want him in my life. Yeah. Like, really, really bad. So that's where I'm at. I feel a lot better after today. Okay. And now I feel like my... I mean, because disappointment comes from unmet expectations, right? Whether yeah. we create these expectations or they set them for, for us and they're still not met, whatever. Um, or now I feel like... I, now I feel like I have more attainable expectations to work around and in. So that's really good. That's my follow up. Sounds like a lot of 
growth in a lot of good ways. Yeah. I mean, I, well, at I, the very least, like that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm grateful for it. But enough um, about my follow up. What about you? My follow up is that I hurt my back. Oh. <laughs> I've been stretching a lot. Um, <laughs> no, I feel like I feel like I don't get to see you like during the week anymore. We're yeah. both so busy all the time. Um, but yeah, this week, this week I actually took, well, this coming week. I, so the week that we have not gone through yet. Okay. I took a lot of time off because it's my birthday. Yes, uh, it is. <laughs> Next weekend. <laughs> so I'm just, I think I'm just chilling out. I'm, I've, I feel like I've just been editing and like doing 4th of July stuff, which was fun. Yeah. What did um, you guys do? Did you go to your parental units or did you go to your partners? We... Did you do both? Oh my gosh, what did we do? Oh, we went to <laughs> Jonathan's parents. Okay. Um, and we watched some... We'll bleep out that name. We watched some fireworks. I don't know if Jonathan cares. He, I think he's listed as a producer, actually. Nice! <laughs> <laughs> I'll ask him, though. I'll make sure. But, uh, yeah, we just went to their house, and uh, their little cul-de-sac does fireworks, and we just watched those I love yeah, for a little bit. I'm trying to decide. I think I'm old now because I'm like. I like. <laughs> I should clarify. I like them when they are at a city organized event. Yeah. I do not like them in the neighborhoods. Mm-hmm. One because I have my dog and my roommate's dogs who I consider to be my own. They have a very hard time with it. It's also um, dangerous. I, it's very dangerous. But I I also think about refugees and people who have served like in the military. And what the random boom, like, what, where that's coming from. Yeah. Um, I think they're beautiful, and I, 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 I appreciate them as art, but I definitely don't like them. But it's nice to get, like, a trigger warning when they're about yeah, to happen. Yeah, I really do. Yeah. And I, I, that's not to be disrespectful. I know we can get a lot of hate for the, for our own personal beliefs, but truly, genuinely. No, I get that. It is... Here, here is kind of nice because they don't allow fireworks on, Cause on the this mountain, mountain that because you're it right caught on fire. It did. I watched. I remember watching I know, it. It was burn. scary. I know. And then we uh. moved here, and I was like, "Wait, <laughs> it's that mountain." Um, oh man. Yeah, kind of scary, but it just that's kind of my week. Not super eventful. I'm glad you're gonna take the a couple days to celebrate you or just chillax been, for a little bit. You need that. It's been a crazy work time yeah i think but, what are you gonna do I don't anything know. you want is there i know uh jonathan wants to do many petties at some time so. oh my gosh individual like a couple or no you can come <laughs> okay i need to <laughs> I, I would show you my feet but i took my shoes off and, and you gotta pay for got, that got in the river yeah you have to pay for that <laughs> um, the but... patreon we start a patreon and it's just your feet pictures <laughs> they're pretty they're actually very pretty feet i believe you so just kidding. <laughs> later. <laughs> later. <laughs> um, well, should we should we try some of these cookies? Yes, you should try the cookies. These are these can be a mood shifting cookie. Yeah, yeah. Where these are eat your feelings cookies. So I'm curious what you think of them because I ate them when they were hot out of the oven and I was like, girl, this is orgasmic. They're so good. They're so fucking um, good. So they're little. They're little uh, pink. Pink little round things. Yeah. With like powdered sugar on top. Uh-huh. Is? So the recipe is a. Um, oh, they're so light. Yeah. It's because they're I made it up with it, I picked only up a feather. Cool Whip. Jo- What's the pink? It's from the, the strawberry, the strawberry box. Strawberry the, box. The, 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 the recipe, my favorite TikToker, he literally went to the store and got a, a box, a cake mix of the strawberry. Oh, strawberry cake mix and Cool Whip. That, yes, those are the only that's two what it is. And, and then, then you powdered sugar. You poop it in before you bake it. You poop it in um, a crap ton of what is this white stuff? Powdered sugar. <laughs> powdered sugar. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm like peeling it apart, and it's it's so like <laughs> light. <laughs> Like, there's no density. I love this. I, you know what? I think I'm going to start doing this next week. You're going to bring more snacks for I me? I think I'm going to I'm gonna bring... They're called Phoenix Nest Cookies. Oh I got the recipe. It's not a working website anymore, but when Harry Potter was like a 
like super big. Yeah. It was called the leaky cauldron.com. Oh. And I got a bunch of Harry Potter. I threw a Harry Potter themed party. Yeah. And all the snacks that I made were like Ron's worst desserts, which are just marshmallows stuffed with um, pretzels and covered in chocolate. And then Harry's wand and, <laughs> and then Phoenix Nest cookies, which are sugar cookies. And you dye one bowl of coconut with red and one with yellow, and then you roll it in it, and it actually looks like fire when the cookie is done. Oh my gosh, that sounds incredible. Yeah. So I'm going to make those for you next. Okay. I'm going to taste it. Mm-hmm. This is the ASMR moment. Oh. I don't know if you can hear it. I can't hear you. That's really good. Yeah! <laughs> It's nice because I feel like I can eat like a thousand of them and not gain any weight. Yes. <laughs> well, probably you could. You probably. probably yeah, should. definitely. For yeah. sure. <laughs> you probably shouldn't do that. It's bad for the heart. But it. Yeah. It's Yeah, they're really good. Does it, they're what like, does it smell like? This is ASMR right now. I'm here for it. <laughs> There's like a tiny bit of crunch right on the bottom. Yeah. But the rest are so fluffy. What does it smell like? Yeah. It's familiar, but I can't place it. Okay. What? So I gave it to my friend today as well. I brought him some cookies because mm-hmm. I had so many. And he, I was like, smell it. What does it smell like? And he couldn't figure it out either. And I was like, yo, it smells like Fruity Pebbles. Yeah, it does. And he, he was so shocked. He was like, who told you that? And I was like, I just associated right now. Like, I just It was me. Moment. I told you that. <laughs> it was me. <laughs> oh, my gosh. They're pretty, too. They are really pretty, actually. It's crazy that there's only, like, two ingredients. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. It literally... You know how on... This is I'm something... I'm covered that, in white powder. Yeah. I have been doing... What cocaine. kind of powder is it? <laughs> this is something that actually bothers me. On recipes, it tells you prep time and bake time. Bake mm-hmm. time is the only time that the times are actually accurate. Prep mm-hmm. time takes so much longer than any of the recipes out there, and it bugs me. It's like prep time if you had everything set aside already. Yeah. If if you lived in a world where everything was set in a teaspoon already, that's the amount of prep time. Exactly. <laughs> and it's annoying. Yeah. Um, th- oh, but you know, like so not used powder. tissue. <clears throat> They're not used. I think it's like stuck in my clothes. Yeah, but like for your fingers. Did you want to wipe your fingers? Yeah, that's a good idea. It's everywhere. <laughs> yeah, powdered sugar, man. It, yeah. The beignets at Disney. Oh, my god. The beignets at They're so Disney. Good. It's, oh, I love shaking that bag. And then it, then you open it, and it's like a big old poof. And you're like, it's like that beignet inhale it, and you can taste it by just breathing in. That so beignet would be nice. hot boxing. <laughs> so Yay! good they're so good they're good <laughs> yay i'm gonna start bringing you every every time we record <laughs> you're I'm bring bring you something. New treats. okay that sounds good to me <laughs> speaking of disney yeah yeah um let's let's move on to uh let's do our versus ai versus <clears throat> ai let's do you versus ai this okay time. okay um and Tana is a Disney gal. I, I, ironically, I'm wearing Mickey, Mickey Mouse, Mouse pants. Mickey Mouse. And my um, earrings are Mickey Mouse, too. Uh, you <laughs> literally went like a month ago. Didn't invite me. Kind of rude. Um, <laughs> just kidding. I'm sorry. No, I'm joking. Um, so we're... I'm, I'm curious on what, like, uh, chat GPT will say about, like, Disney's biggest successes and failures and what you will say about them. Okay. Do you, does this sound good? Yeah, I'm okay, excited. Great. So literally the prompt is going to be, um, what are Disney Studios, um, <laughs> Disney Studios' biggest successes and failures? Notice, so I didn't say um, Disney and Pixar, <laughs> but should I? No. Okay, so Disney. Because Pixar in general is in my head. Yeah. Like I, I associate it as the same, even though it's separate i just want chat gbt to make sure that we're yeah well, okay just disney disney yeah okay B- biggest successes and failures please give me five of each okay yeah. and then are we gonna go down the list and we'll talk about yeah well do you want to do you want to give yours first and then we'll go through it or do you want to like 
Ooh, I can't wait. Well, I think it depends on what on what you're looking for answer wise, <clears throat> or what you're looking for in general. Because in my opinion, my, mine's very biased because it's my opinion, right? I think um, the live actions are major disappointment, except for Cinderella. Cinderella, in my opinion, was the best live action. One, because it was different enough. You okay? I'm trying to remember which one Cinderella was. Lily James? It's the first one. It came out in 2015 or 2016. Fact check me. Um, But it's the first live action. And though I fully, fully enjoyed Mulan, I liked it because it was nothing like the original cartoon, which I really appreciate. Um, biggest flop, the Lion King remake. I thought it was trash. Oh my gosh. Like, they, they, okay, I talked about this, not about this specifically, but they have so many opportunities when it comes to the live actions. If you're going to do a live action, use the Broadway music. Yeah. Instead of writing new... The Broadway songs, specifically Shadowlands in the Lion King musical, like the stage musical. So good. And you have Beyonce in the live action. At least let her sing that song. She's incredible. Marry it with this beautifully written song. That movie alone, it would have been so much better if that had happened. Yeah. I don't think my opinions are going to be anywhere near what ChatGPT has has to say. Um, But I feel like the biggest flops are the live actions. Okay. Um. And I think they're sleeping on Pocahontas, which is a huge disappointment for me personally. So because... because Pocahontas, the animated movie? Yeah. like if... So it's one of the biggest successes, you think? I think. Okay. Which is interesting because I, th- if, if I remember correctly, they were making that at the same time as they were making The Lion King. And they oh. they used, they, they had like a star team and a like a... The B team. The B team. And they actually used the B team to animate Pocahontas. Interesting. The animation is incredible. It is incredible. Like, say what you want about the story or whatever, but the animation is so pretty. It's so good. Also, I love Pocahontas. Yeah. And I'm. I know that Pocahontas, the the cartoon, it it's not anywhere near what the actual history of that woman went through. Um. But it it deals with stuff that we are still facing today, which is insane racism. Yeah. And sure. We don't condone it in any way, shape, or form, but it, it, it actually bothers me a lot that they are not still putting shedding some light on it. They're yeah. removing any Native American representation in the, the Peter Pan rides. They're not they're they don't like the way that they're being represented, which I, I also recognize I'm I'm very white passing, but I'm a mostly Native American. Um I recognize that the the character the cartoon representation of what a native native american um is is kind of it's rude. Very, very caricature yeah very... and it's nowhere near the respect it actually deserves right but they're removing it entirely instead of i don't know re-examining how they could better showcase that and same with pocahontas i feel like you have so you have a major opportunity major opportunity to to bring that to light and recognize Another yet another race of human beings who are being shit on on a regular basis. Yeah. Well, that turned very political, and I didn't mean it to be. <clears throat> but, okay. but yeah, but, biggest so, disappointments or flops, in my opinion, are the live actions. Just all of them. Blanket, yeah, blanket except statement. for Cinderella and Mulan. Even though I don't consider Mulan to be a, a live action remake, because it's such a different story. It's so different. Yeah. It's so so different. I really don't remember the Cinderella. I think I think it maybe came out when I was serving at Miss Oh yeah, maybe. I don't remember it. We'll have to watch it. I think it's so beautiful. But yeah, it's got Lily James, who I'm obsessed with. She was incredible in Mamma Mia 2. She did a great job as per being Pamela Anderson in that in that movie with the with Bucky from the Avengers movies. I can't remember his actual name, but he is beautiful. <laughs> um, she's a phenomenal actress, and she did a beautiful job playing Cinderella. Yeah. Okay. Um... Let's see. If we're talking about costuming in in Disney 
movies like the live you know what my biggest thing are the f-ing live actions yeah Straight that's up. it i'm just gonna i'm just gonna like, there's so much i could talk about in that and specifically more the princess live actions yeah or Cause or do you mean like all of them well all of them i hated aladdin i was so disappointed with that one the speechless song was crap on a cracker it was probably gonna be better but then they <laughs> decided so to cut it in half it was really really bad i hated it and also no disrespect to the girl who played jasmine she is gorgeous absolutely stunning yeah but i did not did not like her take on jasmine at all and i also don't think she's a very good actress sick burn, take, sick, burn, sick burn sick burn sick burn sick burn um to be fair i'm also every time i see her all i can think of is the the song no 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 all i can think of is the power rangers movie oh, that they made oh that was an unfortunate she was movie. so bad in it <laughs> everyone was bad in except it. for the red ranger when he slapped it, who he came in he's in um um stranger things he's billy billy oh yeah he died he did die <laughs> but, <let's be> <laughs> spoilers poor bob bob should have lived bob samwise oh Gamgee. yeah that was heartbreaking. As as Eddie he, Munson, uh, yeah. also heartbreaking. As long as Hopper d- d- doesn't die, that's all I care about. I just love Hopper. That so whole much. okay, sorry. The whole season, the whole Russia stuff. I was like, F- off. Well, it's because they <laughs> said it in this time. It's like one or two years have gone by, but these kids are now adults. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot going on with that. I, that doesn't the, make any sense. The whole split between the two stories, I was like, mm, just f- off. Yeah. I, <laughs> the the stuff with Max was really good. The stuff with Eddie Munson was really good. Yeah. I loved all that. Um, and even like the reveal of number one being. I knew. I yeah. was like, there's no, there's no reason why Mr. Jamie Campbell Bauer is so is. Good. He was great. So good. I love that actor. Uh, but the whole Vecna thing was really good. I thought all the murders were really cool. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, I just hated all the Russia stuff. I was like, please. Give me more Dusty Bun. That's all I need. Just please get out. And Eddie. Dusty Bun, um, Eddie, and Steve. I saw him in Sweeney Todd. Gaten. You did? Yeah, he was Toby. Oh. Oh. Gaten. Nothing's gonna harm you. Yeah. Oh. There's a TikTok of him singing that song. You should, I should send it to you. Uh, yes, please. I'll send it to you. That's, please. Well, we're it's busy really right good. now, but <laughs> you literally, got out to give it. Yeah. Anyway, um, so th- those are, that's my, my opinion. Okay, biggest, biggest, and biggest successes, you said Pocahontas. The Lion King. Lion King. Like the cartoon. Yeah. And Cinderella live action. Cinderella live action. Which okay. I'm probably going to be super wrong on that. Okay. I, I, I mean, I think the first thing that ChatGPT says is this is all very subjective um, and it provided two examples. Okay. Two sets of lists. Okay. And the first one is more based on box office performance. Just performance. Sure. And it included a lot of Marvel movies. And so I, I re-asked the question and asked it to remove Marvel movies. Oh, okay. Because I wanted to... I, I feel like... Let's focus on Disney. Yeah. But because it, it, the biggest success was Avengers Endgame. Because it, it's the highest grossing movie of all time, earning over $2.7 billion worldwide. Interesting. So Hot take. that would make sense. I stopped watching those movies after. I'm Thor so Ragnarok. bored. <laughs> I'm so bored every time I watch a Marvel movie now. People keep talking about them, and I'm like, I'm not going to go see the new Guardians. I'm so sorry. I, me either. I, oh man, I'm I feel like so I'm just tired. really setting people up to hate me. I hate those films. I think the only good thing about those Guardians movies is the music. Yeah. The rest of it. The, I, I think two was actively very bad. So additional. I, For sure. I love her. Zoe Not Deschanel. Zoe Deschanel. Zoe. <laughs> Saldana? Saldana. <laughs> I love Zoe her. Zoe Deschanel. It's 500 Days of Summer, but <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. Chris Pratt is like trying to get oh, Zoe shit. Deschanel to like him. What a fool I am. I know who I'm talking about. I see her. She's, a, no. she's in all of the top, like, top three grossing series. Yeah, of all time. Yeah, she's... Avatar. Um, and Avatar Guardians. 1 and 2, Gar- Guardians and uh, Avengers Endgame. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. interesting. She's a powerhouse. She's really good. She is actually an incredible actor. Yes. She's she's definitely the best. She's like the most watchable actor in Hot Take. The most watchable actor in Guardians of the Galaxy. I 100%. Agree. A thousand percent. All the way. I agree. And I love... She looks uh, good um, green and blue. <laughs> she looks so good. As well as her beautiful, beautiful natural skin. She's um, perfect. She's perfect. And I love, to be clear, I love Jeff Bridges. But the second one was so bad. I just hated that movie. Anyways. All I remember from the second one is I'm Mary Poppins. 
I don't even and, think I'm and saying then you're that like, right. And then you're like, ugh. Yeah. And Bad I remember joke. there were like bubbles. Were there bubbles? Yeah, he made like a bubble. I don't remember. Really. Yeah, just, I think it was like a force field shield or something. That's all I remember. Yeah. I'm, I'm over Marvel in general. <laughs> so that, that was like kind of what it listed. Mm-hmm. So as you can imagine, like Star Wars Force Awakens is on there as well. Oh, yeah, I forgot about uh, But Star Lion Wars. King is also on that highest grossing list. Cartoon or animation? Cartoon, 1994. Yes! yes. Um, and then Frozen, and then it says Toy Story franchise. Interesting. So um, those are like, those are like critically acclaimed and like sec- success in that way. Biggest failures, it talks about John Carter. Did you ever see that? No. So terrible. It's it's one that they spent some of the most money on. They actually filmed some of it in Utah. It's, they spent like so much money on it and it made nothing. Like they lost over a hundred million dollars. Oh the movie. my gosh. Wait, what the heck is this? Is this, what is this? What? It's really bad. What? It's it's like a a guy in outer space or something. Ah, it's boo. terrible. Really bad. Boo. He's like on a foreign planet. Despite the large budget and high expectations, the science fiction film underperformed at the box office, resulting in significant financial loss for Disney. It was, very, it was really bad. Uh, Lone Ranger is another one. Um, is that the one with Johnny Depp? Yeah. Yeah. And then... Love him, by the way. Tomorrowland. Do you remember that one? It had I like do. George Clooney in it. Never saw it. It looked bad. I never saw it yeah. either, but I do remember that. I also remember hearing people talk major <laughs> shit on it. I, I can imagine. It looked terrible. <laughs> Um, Nutcracker in the Four Realms, which I've never heard of. With, um, Keira Knightley? I believe you. I've never heard of it. I watched it, and (laughs) here's my impression of (laughs) Keira Knightley's choice. That's the problem. Keira Knightley in general also. Oh, I love her. See, that's so interesting. I actually love her. I think she's the worst part of Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, man. That's very interesting. Barbosa is my favorite part of Pirates of the Caribbean. He's really good. He is... I, I just, I love it. And also the music is really good, too. Yeah. Oh, Iconic. Oh, man. This is my impersonation, though, of, of Kira Knightley. If, if this is what I'm thinking. She talks like this. That's oh, her character. No. And, and... Terrible. It was um, a choice. It was a choice. But the other one, the last one in that list, which I think is funny, is Artemis Fowl, the newest one that came out in 2020. Did you ever see it? It's no. like Netflix. Went straight to, I mean, not Netflix. Uh, straight to Disney+. Plus. Huh. Did you ever read the books? No. I loved those books. They're so good. Such good young adult novels. It was a, the worst movie I've ever seen. I couldn't finish it. It's so, so bad. <laughs> um, it, it's like they they fully took the, the IP, they took it, and they ate it, and then they <laughs> it out right in your face. <laughs> Like, they, 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 they said, sit down oh and in your gosh. face. It was like a poop And you bracket. had to just sit there. It was oh, so, no. so bad. Which is a fun, um, oh, oh, that's okay. That's okay. No. There's powdered sugar everywhere. We got white powder all over. I'm on the iPad. <laughs> that's okay. Um, so, so those are like the financial ones. Okay. Okay. Uh, is Disney <laughs> on you and, and then you have Avengers <laughs> at the top. Um, so biz, biggest successes. And I asked it to. So I asked it to go more on impact and not include Marvel movies. Okay, impact. Which is kind of what you were kind of thinking more in the vein of, right? Or yeah. were you just... S- sort of. Okay. Um, so all of, <clears throat> all of the successes are fully like early animation. Early, early as in like OG princesses? Like you have Snow White, Beauty and the Beast, Little Mermaid, Cinderella, and Lion King. That's on the list. So they're probably for impact, going for which impact. I think, in... Which I think is technically true. Yeah. Because like Disney, obviously, in that in those time periods, was revolutionizing ways to create animation. Yeah. Was revolutionizing First, those kind. things. I do, I do find it interesting, though, because I agree with you about... And maybe it's trying to eliminate the Pixar aspect, but <clears throat> I, I do agree with you about like the cultural re- relevance of like Coco and Tonto <laughs> and even like Luca. Um, which... Yeah. <laughs> Can I just plug, can you guys, if you're going to, your next princess, can you just make her plus size? Make a plus size princess. Yeah. Please. <laughs> Dang <Yeah>. it. 
Uh, yeah, so the, that was success-wise, just those early animations, which, I, again, I understand, I think it's interesting that they, they didn't include modern, impactful yeah. things. Um, biggest failures, which I, I I think this is really interesting. Black Cauldron is first on that list, which is crazy to me. That blows my mind, because the first time I saw... I will say this. first time I saw Black Cauldron was in 2020, and it's dark. It's a dark movie. Yeah. I and, and maybe it. that maybe that's why it says like audience experienced a very lackluster box office performance. I do feel like it's it might be one of those movies that like developed a cult following later. Oh, definitely. But it's it's interesting that that's on that list. Uh, Fantasia was a flop. Is on that list. It says uh, considered a critical a critical and commercial disappointment. An experimental film has gained recognition over time, but still felt short of Disney's expectations during the initial release. What are your expectations on that then, Disney? Just money? I don't know. It's interesting, like what? Because it, it's an art film. Yeah, it's it's, it's awesome. purely art film. It's and look at what's happened really because of it. Yeah, super weird. Like it, insane. It's, it's it feels like it feels kind like kind of was ahead of its time. Despite that, it should have had impact. Anyways, um, and then it's Lone Ranger, John Carter again, and Tomorrowland again. Ah. so those are just always at the bottom. Yeah. Well, they're yeah. <laughs> they're so. <laughs> Um, Interesting. Yeah. So that was Tana versus AI. I don't really know if it was versus. I feel like I went in a completely different direction than what... It is. It's really interesting, the thoughts of the AI came up with. We just went to the salt flats. We did. Um, We're going to have to go do that again. Oh, yeah. I, that was fun. I took a bunch... So I took my film camera, and I was so excited to take a bunch of photos. <laughs> Um, because the salt flats are beautiful if you've never been, you should go. But the salt flats are really beautiful at this time because there's water that's like residual water from the snow. I took my film camera to take a bunch of photos. I love taking film uh, photos. Yeah! <laughs> Interruption burp. <laughs> that came out of nowhere. I, you didn't even recoil or anything. You just su- like suddenly... <laughs> so proud of that bird. No, that was so good. <laughs> and three, I'm a lady. No. And I just farted. Absolutely not. We're not. <laughs> You're right. I'm not a lady. No, we're not. I'm not a lady. We're not enforcing any kind of stereotypical <laughs> norms here. What a classy individual. That was incredible. <laughs> that was really good. Anyways. I'm really proud of you. <laughs> it was very good. <laughs> we're stuck now. There's no moving forward from this. Anyways, you film camera and at the salt flats. I I took a bunch of photos. Nothing <laughs> sorry, inside sorry, of it. No, it's over. Out of my nose. <laughs> you know what? Let's move. <laughs> the, the the camera. <laughs> Listen, this is real life. Okay, allergies make everybody's life harder. I'm so sorry. Oh. You forgot. You forgot the thingy. It, it's okay. I think the time has passed. <laughs> Sorry, I ruined it. Yeah. <laughs> Not at all. You made it better. Um. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> um. I just learned that, is it Elon Musk who's wanting to put chips in people's brains so they don't have to use cell phones anymore? They're just automatically c- c- connected to a computer? I don't know. I feel like he's always trying to do something weird. It's weird. Don't do that. At least with cell phones, we can put them away. Yeah. I wouldn't want a computer in my head all day. Also, thanks for ruining Twitter. <laughs> my yeah. one place. You were great on Twitter. My one place <clears throat> to have people and porn. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
Remember Tumblr? I do. People in porn. (laughs) I never understood how to use Tumblr. I didn't either. I had a really good friend that got me into it, and I was like, I don't know what the f is going on. (laughs) This has been a fun last like 40 minutes of laughing. (laughs) I think we're both exhausted. (laughs) I I'm I'm so sorry if this is crazy. And I'm not. And do you want to know why? Because I'm proud of our interactions. This is funny. It's good. <laughs> it might be the more boring of the three episodes we have uploaded, but you know what? You're welcome. Or just crazy. I don't know. It's, it's <laughs> was, great. We started out with cookies. We ended with burps and laughter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have all spectrum of emotion. <laughs> I can't believe you held in the water. I thought you were going to spit on the microphone. I was so panicked. Sorry, I touched it was it, it was literally like I don't know how to help you. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I have in the corner of my eyes. You just, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'll tell you what you do next time. You get up and you move the microphone out of the way so that I don't spew you on can it. Do that? What are you talking about? <laughs> because I was concentrating on my innards. <laughs> my innards. I didn't want to ruin this beautiful microphone. Okay. Poor Jonathan's microphone. Follow us on the Instagrams and the yeah. YouTubes. We're posting reels and shorts and stuff all the time from shows, so you yeah. can get a little preview, a little taste, and then you can jump yeah. into the madness. Um, <laughs> madness, the voodoo But yeah, follow madness. us on Instagram. Um, uh, yeah, posting reels, YouTube. You can see us in person, uh-huh. which is fun. You can uh-huh. see Tana panic for like a solid 30 <laughs> seconds. Uh, and I'm then entirely the... unsure about what I was panicking about. Oh, the microphone? <laughs> about about the spitting. spitting up. <laughs> um, it just happened and I've forgotten. <laughs> oh my god! Blocked it out. Um, and then TikTok. Uh-huh. Also on TikTok. And then Apple Pod, like everywhere you get your podcasts are hosted by Acast and um, produced by Jonathan McDonald. I love him so much. Who's helped a lot. <sighs> and on that note, I'm Tananigans. I'm really tired. He's exhausted. So, so <laughs> f- tired. <laughs> <laughs>